Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video, which is a B&M haul. There is lots of goodies to show you in this one's bits of food, I think. Um, a few bits of food, but mainly like cleaning and spring stuff. If you can hear some little footsteps, that's blue stepping all over the laminate floor just as I'm filming, so that's great. Thanks, Blue. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump in. So first, I'll just quickly show you this mover mix considering it's already been opened. Um, I have had all this shopping for a few days now, so imagine having this like literally just on the table next to you, just sitting there for a few days. Exactly. But do you know what this reminded me of? So there's some celebrities that have brought out some sweet ranges. I don't really know much about it, but I know that they're expensive. And I just thought it reminds me of that. It's literally, I don't know if you can see, at least this way, now you can see what's in. Bit of everything, you know, you've got your strawberry laces, your jelly sweets. Anyway, basically it's a giant movie mix sweet bag and it was $1.99. So I'm actually looking forward to sitting down with the kids and watching a film and munching on these sweets. If there's any left. Then, so I've got two of these cleaning tubs. Woo! Two of these not broken cleaning tubs. And these were two pound each as well. They're both exactly the same. But so I got one for me because if you know, you'll know I'm moving house. If you don't know, now you do, I'm moving house. And um, so I just thought it's kind of cute to put some little cleaning supplies in for when I move into my new house. Um, we haven't actually found anywhere yet, but we are literally on the ball. So we're looking. But also, it's one of my neighbour's birthdays and she's a really good friend. So I thought she loves bleaching. Like, honestly, she bleaches all the time, but I don't think she's ever used a Zaflora. So I'm going to make her like a little Zaflora hamper, I think, and a bit of bleach because she likes the bleach. A cleaning hamper. We'll just say cleaning hamper. So I got this to put all the little things in, like bleach and stuff. But I just thought for £2, that's actually really good anyway. So it's good just to have for cleaning but it's also good to do like a little birthday hamper or christmas hamper obviously it's not christmas but if you want to get stocked up now ready for christmas i suggest you do um so i'm really pleased with them actually for two pound each then i've got this candle and it says it's a citronella natural insect repellent natural weave glass candle <gasps> outdoor use only so that's interesting you cannot burn it inside even if you wanted to but it's basically this like woven kind of basket effect i guess which is very kind of boho right now and in at the minute so i thought that was super cute to have and then it's just obviously got the citronella smell which is an insect repellent smells quite nice really i don't know why insects don't like that but that was five pounds i just got these two little plates i actually got these to go outside for like this big candle and i thought we could have i don't know like a scone it's outside having a scone with a citronella candle maybe barbecue but then we need more than two i don't know i just got two plates just to go outside and look cute with that candle <laughs> these are the eco-friendly ones in bamboo and they were a pound each got this little cute basket which i'm guessing pulls out i hope so because if not i'm literally just breaking it as i'm speaking oh my god i love that that's super cute really like that that one was a three pound which you might think wow that's quite expensive for what it is which probably is however if you were to go anywhere else and look for a basket this big, they're ridiculously expensive. I have no idea why, because I'm sure this material's not expensive, but but this all seems to be the trend right now, but I'm super pleased with that for £3. I might even go and get a few more. Don't know what I thought though. This is what I do, buy things and I don't even need them. And then I'm just like stuck with stuff put everywhere because I've got stuff I didn't need. Um, this is kind of fun kit as well. I did get my sister-in-law one for a birthday. Happy birthday, Carmel, if you watch it. 
Um, it is an oil burner, but I suppose you could do it for wax melts as well if you wanted at the top. It's probably big enough for wax melts. But it, you put your tea light candle in, and in this case, you put your oils in. So I've got some oils which you pour in with the candle burning. But I just thought it's like different, you know, like statue-esque, modern art. But anyway, I thought that were quite cool. That was three pounds. That were quite good actually for three pounds. I thought it could look good outside as well, but obviously this wouldn't last the weather. And then to go with that, I got some oils because I don't have oils, I have wax melts. Um, I did get two packs of these, but I split them up and give some to my sister-in-law so she can put some in hers. So I got the fragrances Orange Zest. Ooh, that's a fruity. <laughs> and I got vanilla as well. This one's a vanilla one. So I put one of each in for birthday. Oh, I just love vanilla. But it's more homely, do you know what I mean? Like, I'd probably have vanilla if it were raining. This is how weird I am. I'd have vanilla on a rainy night and then on a summer's night, I'd probably do the orange zest. But I've never done the fragrance oils before in an oil burner, so I'm excited to try them out. Then I just got a caffeine shampoo because there is one, oh God, I can't remember what it's called, but it's an expensive caffeine shampoo. And it's actually meant to, I think it's made for men to help men's hair grow. If it makes men's hair grow, then shall it make women's hair grow? It says caffeine shampoo known to stimulate hair roots during washing. Contains keratin protein. And I think that were pound as well. And the other one, I can't remember what it's called. Is it I can't remember what the other one's called, but I know it's not a pound. So I'll try that for a pound. Just got some surf tablets because everyone needs tablets to wash your clothes. Or you don't, you might need washing powder, whatever you use. These were an offer, I feel like they were like £3.60 or something like that. And you get... 20 in there these are in the scents limited edition that's not the scent secret paradise then i got a bleach as i say it is for this little cleaning hamper that i'm gonna do so i'll bob that in there now i'll show you all the things that i'm gonna get to put in um at the end that was i think that was about 80p as well because i ought, i mean i don't know if she does but i always buy the platinum thick bleach just seeing it's getting a good hell of a clean, you know. I got her some Fabulosa wipes to go in the little cleaning hamper. These are in Electrify. I do actually have these myself and I religiously use these everywhere. Just to make your mind know like, oh, that's been cleaned with Fabulosa. Do you know what I mean? You get 80 wipes. These are suitable for vegans. And it makes me laugh because it says these effective against the coronavirus. <laughs> But it doesn't mean go rubbing yourself in these huns, okay? Um, but they are clean and shine, multi-surface and long-lasting freshness. And the bleach are free as well, but that doesn't matter because she loves the bleach. But they're real handy to have. Um, and I'll, I'll always stock up on these as long as they're selling them. Bob that in the hamper. Just got some washing up liquid for myself because we need washing up liquid. And this one was a little bit different. Lime and lemongrass. That's the one that I've got this time. And, oh, it smells limey. <laughs> but I think that were pound. And I always tend to buy fairy liquid when it's on offer or when you can see it for pound, I'll just buy it. I don't know why, but I do. Just got some of this for Lydia's hair because if you know my daughter, you will know she has long hair, literally almost down to a bum. So imagine having to brush that every day and then when she has a bath and having to brush that, and this is the detangling spray for children's hair and you leave it in. It's like a leave-in conditioner. And I suppose it does make it that little bit easier. Um, probably just because it's conditioner, but that was only a pound as well. And I got two Zafloras. These are in Linen Fresh, which is my absolute favourite Zaflora scent ever. So one is for me, thank you. And one is going to go in the hamper for my friend. So like I said, she's never done Zaflora, so... I told her a few little tricks and um, what to do with it. One is what I do is I always, not always, maybe once a week, like soak my cloths and um, normal like cleaning brushes, things like that in the bowl with hot water, like one capful 
I never do a cap full. But one cap full with hot water and leave to soak over the night. And then all your cloths and everything like that smell lovely for like the days to come. And your room smells nice as well. So I've also got one of these to put in and one for me. These are in fresh, oh, they're different. That's blueberry sugar. And this one's fresh breeze. And they all tricked me then. But these are actually new. I've not seen these anywhere. So these are washing machine cleaners and it says you do two shots and it prevents bad odours. <laughs> Removes lime scale and lasting freshness. So pour 125 ml of the product. So half, that's practically half of this bottle. Into the soap dispenser, run the machine on a short hot cycle. So do you put your clothes in with it or what? Always use it when the machine is empty, so no you don't, but that's good to clean your washing machine. So this one is blueberry sugar. Oh God, actually, whoo! Wow, that will clean your washing machine. It's made my eyes water. I think I'll give my friend that one. Fresh breeze. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, fresh breeze. And I think, I can't exactly remember how much they were, but they were either a pound to two pound, between one to two pounds, so they weren't mega expensive. I think this is the last items for the hamper, or cleaning items. Um, they are in different scents as well, because these are the last one of each. These are the room and fabric fresheners. Yep, they're both the same. This one's in Electrify, and this one's in Evening Jewel. So Electrify is a normal, fabulosa scent. Oh, I just love Electrify, you cannot beat it. And Evening Jewel, I don't believe. Pl spray it on my placemat. Ooh. Oh, they're both nice. Both nice, so I don't know which one to pass on because I'm going to keep one myself for my own basket. Uh, but they're both really nice, actually. And again, I'd like to say they're between one and two pounds. Sorry, I'm not that good with remembering numbers. A few bits of food now. Monster Munch, once again, too tempting. Just sat next to me. Some little dimes. Oh my God, where's my dime lovers at? I can normally only find dime bars at Ikea, so which is probably half an hour-ish away from me. So I'm not just gonna go to Ikea, just some dime bars, am I? But I well chuffed when I saw these and I think they're about two pound. Um, kids have tried eating them. I'm <laughs> like, eh, eh, eh. I did get them some sweets by the way and they were on here, but they've gone. So I didn't just buy me them and not the kids, just so you know. Waffles, Lydia loves having chocolate waffles for breakfast. Um, now, not everywhere stocks these, B&M and Home Bargains both stock them, but not all the time. So you've just kind of got to go in and go, oh look, you come up while you can, do you know what I mean? Um, so these are normally about 90p, you want to say, for five. I just needed a box of tissues because it's hair fever season. And let me tell you, I would all suffer in with that. Got these little cat toys. I think this was actually Home Bargains, but I just thought I'd go in to show you. Um, now, I actually got these for my rabbits because my friend actually has a rabbit um, inside and she fills it with loads of toys like this. And honestly, it just plays like... Plays. like a child. And I'm like, I want mine to do that. So anyway, I don't know if I'll put in that furry one because I feel like that might not be too good for rabbits. But everything else, I'm going to put in and see how they get on. And this box, I think, was about one ninety nine as well for that all them. So, bargain. Then, as well, with the animals, I love this. This might just be the purchase of the day, as well as this. My dime chocolates. So this is a stay cool drinking water bowl for your dog, but you could have it for your cat, your rabbits, maybe not your hamsters, because they might climb in. But basically, what you do is you unscrew this, whenever you don't have long nails, you feel like the inside with water. You put that in the freezer, it's so like it's all frozen on the outside and then fill it with water. And it actually keeps the water cold in like hot weather. Because, well, it depends on where you are, I guess. I'm in Yorkshire and it's been so hot like these last two, three weeks maybe. I don't know what's going on, I'm not complaining. But um, I've had to put like a little pool out for my dog just to keep him cool. But this will be really good to keep him 
obviously he drinks so he's not gonna dehydrate but you know like to make him have a nice refreshing cold water drink do you know what i mean and that was two pound i just feel like i should have got one for cats as well so i might go back and get a few more then i just got some grass seed and grass seed is not cheap well this was 2.99 so it depends what you call cheap but basically like i've said i am moving house my house right now is rented and for me to be able to leave this house <laughs> I need to put it back to how it was. And when you've got a border collie, the garden is not how it was. So I need to just try and do a few patchings up. In fact, if anyone at all has any tips on how to get your garden and your grass growing again, please, please, please let me know because I'm literally on a few months time and I need help. This was six cans of Coke Zero. I guess the kids have sent me to them. And then I got two boxes of coffees, or coffee pods, should I say. The flat whites and the, whatever that is, Cafe Al Leia. <laughs> but this is also for my friend whose birthday it is, because um, she's a coffee machine and she loves these coffees. Now, I didn't know whether to put these into the hamper. Ooh, oh my God, it's an absolute massive wagon passing my car. <sighs> Don't know how it did that without touching my car and breathe right there right I'm back so I don't know whether to put these in the hamper or you know like take them out of the box and put them in the hamper or just like that these up separate I'm not sure I'll have a little play about and see and then this is the last thing I believe and it is one of the sofa trays. Now, I do actually have a few of these all around my house because I think these are actually amazing. I've got this one to put on the sofa though, you know, like to see if it'll go over my arm um, chair. Does that make sense? Um, if you just wanted it as um, a tray, you could just do that. Although it's quite small. I've got a big one as well, whereas this is a small one. So you probably won't get your actual like normal plate on here. Um, but I think I might just put it on the side for like my remote controls. <laughs> I don't know yet, but um, it says here, oh, keep all your items in one hand to reach place. Folding arms to fit and secure onto most sofa arms. So that's actually what it's for. Stylish wooden design. Oh, so I might actually put it on there. Uh, and I think, I feel like they're either three pound or four pound. I'm not sure, but either way, they're at prices where I'm like, yeah, just pop them in trolley because I've got them all around my house. Right, guys, that is the end of today's, B uh, this month's B&M haul. I'm so excited to go again because it's just literally getting better and better as we're moving on through the year. So if you did like this video and you want to see more, please make sure to like this video and also subscribe as it really does mean the world to me and hit the bell so you'll not miss any more videos when I post them, which is going to be exciting. Thank you so much for watching.